Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are gonna be looking at another path to glory player, and today it's none other than Connor Gallagher. Now it's been a while since he he was released. I think he was released when the semi-finals or before. Uh, I mean, before England was about to play Netherlands in the semi-finals, and as of the day I'm recording, and as of the day you guys are watching, England have successfully gone to the finals and they're going to be facing Spain it's going to be interesting the match is going to be interesting and England actually turned up for Netherlands you know I was really happy that it wasn't a boring game but now looking at this player 94 rated centre midfielder Conor Gallagher uh, Euros path to glory player we're going to be looking at his stats we're going to be looking at all of his uh, play styles and all of those things and then in the end we'll complete this SBC Puno Minimus Scott and then see how he actually is in game looking at the stats he's looking really good all 90 plus or 90 started card and i'm really happy with the stats that he's got uh now i just saw the declan rice international uh tar card i think it is called a uh, 97 rated cdm he doesn't have that much shooting i'm actually uh surprised at that but that is for another day now looking at this card uh you can play him at center midfielder and cdm as well we're gonna go straight into this video without any more ado hope you guys are doing well and make sure you guys actually stay till the end and if, if you guys are interested in this card because you might get to know something about these stats these play styles and all these five star skill move five star weak foot as well now yeah like i said he has five star skill move and five star weak foot preferred foot is right which is always easy to remember and he has a high attacking and a defensive work rate you can't play him at cassandra attacking mid even though he has good attacking stats you can play him at CDM, uh, he has really good stats guys, for a centre midfielder card who can be played at CDM as well, he has really good stats. Now looking at the stats itself, let's complete the defensive stats which is 98 interceptions guys, 98 interceptions, he has 92 overall in defending, he has 98 def interception, he has 98 stand tackle and he has 94 slide tackle and he has 89 defensive awareness as well, those interception and stand tackle and slide tackle are looking very nice i'm really actually i'm surprised that he has that much of a defensive stats but because whenever he comes on for chelsea he just changes the game and it becomes so attacking mindset and seeing him having so much defensive stats it's actually surprising but it's actually pretty crazy and he has 99 stamina and 98 aggression as well 92 overall physical and 90 overall dribbling under that he has 91 dribbling he has 92 ball control he has 93 reaction dribbling is like okay i'm happy with it but do i really care about it i don't know 92 ball control 91 dribbling i think i'm okay with it i'm not really as long as he's able to get the ball pass the ball around and be a playmaker playmaker i think i'm happy with it but apart from that passing shooting and pace now acceleration is woeful 86 acceleration is woeful but is i don't know we'll see how he is in game isn't it uh, that time we'll judge about uh, these stats in game now i won't be adding any play style i mean chemistry style as usual we'll just go with the full game and uh, see how what upgrades he gets but apart from that in shooting he has 96 shot power which is really good 92 long shots really good 91 finishing also very good and under passing 94 overall passing guys and under that he has 95 vision he has 98 short pass and 97 long pass now we'll be testing passing dribbling ball control we'll be testing his pace and his shooting as well so these are the few things that we'll be testing in game in a while but before we actually go into the testing part let us actually look at his play style and i'll show you guys what you have to complete in the spc department in order to get this card now for scoring he has power shot and finish shot play style he has uh, pinched pass plus he has long ball plus and he has tiki daga plus and with pass as play style and play style pluses and in defending he also has intercept plus which is really good he has jockey he has first touch he has relentless all of these play style and play style pluses i think i has i still have no clue how these play style or play style pluses work but it is a fun new thing that is there so yeah i don't know how many of you guys are actually excited or fc 25 i am hoping at least that that game has better servers and better uh, you know game less bugs are there in that game uh but uh, looking at the sbc itself you need to complete two squad builds in order to get this card one top form which is a 84 rated squad with a team form player or a team of the season player 
and Premier League squad which is an 86 rated squad with the team of the season or in form and a Premier League player which is actually pretty easy now I'm gonna complete this and then we'll put him in his team and we'll see how he is in game okay I have added Conor Gallagher to the team this is the main squad guys the main squad is looking really good it's been built really <laughs> oh my god it's been built really well I'm happy with how the team is looking as of now now will we'll, okay Martinez has got an upgrade <coughs> Lissandro Martinez he was 94 he has gone up to 95 I just realized that and is there any more upgrades I don't see anything but yeah looking at Conor Gallagher here he gets plus 4 in sprint speed, it gets it to 99 sprint speed, but will that, that is, does it matter realistically speaking? With him having only 86 acceleration, I don't know, but as you guys can see, you guys can pause the screen for a minute and see where and all he gets plus 4 and plus 1 and plus 2 or plus 3 upgrades. Uh, so this is how the card looks. This is why for most of the, uh, my players here also, I don't use, uh, what is this, uh, play style or chemistry style. Uh, I don't have chemistry style on Fuller, I don't have chemistry style on Cruz, or even in even on Gloss. I don't have chemistry style. I have a few players with chemistry styles on. I think even my bench, a few will have, few might won't have. It depends on the player stats and how they are in game and how they feel when I play with them. But yeah, actually let us let us hop on into the game and see how Conor Gallagher is. How he is able to play at that right center mid position? I am putting him. At. Usually he plays at left center mid. I am putting it, putting him at right center mid. We'll see how it goes. Actually, you know what? I'll put him at left center mid. He has right foot is his preferred foot, but he also has weak five star weak foot. So we'll see how he actually is in game. Thanks, guy. Well, I'm really looking forward to this one today. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Interceptions are. Uh, interceptions are decent. I'm not uh, too mad about it. 98 interceptions, I hope it is a bit better than that. Ooh, how much was this curve? Did we look at this curve? I don't think we looked at this curve. If you guys saw the curve stats, uh, please please uh, let me know if he was actually good because I have no idea what his curve stats are. So, we can't, I, I mean, I can't really judge on the basis of not knowing what his stats were. And for as of the previous uh, what is it, player review which we did was uh, Lissandro Martinez I'm guessing and I told you guys I let you know how he is uh, in the next videos he is actually really good guys his defensive stats are amazing uh, he's he is a pacey pacey player so the pace mixed with high defensive stats is really good uh, and I use him at right center back. So that is really, really insane. Guardiola and Sandro Martinez combination. I'm not gonna lie, it looks good. It looks good. And so far, judging from just the passing, I would say Gallagher's passing is really good and his ball control is really good as well. I don't see his uh, acceleration being 86, you know. I feel like it is almost at eight, uh, 90 or 91. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or... Okay, but, but it feel, it doesn't feel as oh my god, was that Licha who just scored the header? Is this a is this a Licha part two or something? Cause look at that header. Oh my god, what a goal! That was a goal and a half. But yeah, coming back to Conor Gallagher, I am actually pretty impressed with how the card is. I mean, he does have a bit of a lower acceleration and his interception there was really good. Uh, stand tackle was really good as well. But apart from that, see, look at that acceleration. It doesn't feel that bad. I don't know. if it, it does, it, does it feel like 86? It almost feels like lower 90s, I would say. And his shooting is really good as well. His long pass, short pass, uh, his lob pass, his advanced pass, all the passing is really well. I don't know. I don't know. This is a good card, according to me. So I am not uh, sad about this card in any of the, you know, stats. Hmm. Why have they given him 86? Uh... Look at the shooting. Shooting is really good, guys. The goal is too good. This is the high-rated squad that I'm playing against, and the shooting is really good. I think that's an icon goalkeeper. I'm not sure. Okay, let us just pause for a minute. 26 minutes of in-game time we have played. Shooting is really good. 
passing the whole passing stats is amazing dribbling is really good ball control is on par uh, i would say acceleration also feels okay it doesn't feel like 86 86 means he should be taking ages to move but i feel like it is almost at 91 92 and his pace is really good because he got plus four pace of the chemistry style as well uh, basic chemistry style he has 99 pace which is really good and he has really good uh, acceleration as well for a center midfielder stand tackle is really good interceptions are really good even sometimes if he's not able to win the ball he just you know puts that uh pressure on the player which makes the player kind of push the ball in front and the defense can come and capitalize i think i think this is a good card i think this is a good card let me know if anybody out there who's watching the video if you guys have actually completed this card let me know how the card is because according to me i'm in love with this card i don't know if he'll be in my main squad though because i have bruno i mean i have bernardo silva and i have cruz and i have walker the icon ball so i have no clue whom to play and i was actually thinking on uh, doing a player review on declan rice but after seeing his shooting and after seeing the requirements 86 and an 87 rated spot for declan rice i'm actually thinking but let me know if you guys want to see a player review for declan rice i will be down to do it I'm not not going to lie i have a bunch of uh, special cards that i don't use which i can use and complete the sbc Uh, I hope the next uh, event is footies, you know, because well, footies is something that I've been waiting for a while. And he shot it away. That was wonderful defensive work. Oh, 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 oh my God! What a goal! What a goal! We got a corner Gallagher goal, and I think that is a good place to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about this card. uh in the comment section and if you guys are going to complete this if you have it i think from now since the video drops it is going to be 10 days left for you guys to complete this card and this card will be available in the sbc section but yeah i am happy with this card i think it's worth it uh i don't know how you guys feel about it but let me know in the comment section and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video uh i don't know what the next video is going to be honest i'll be very honest i don't know what the next video is going to be but yeah take care stay safe stay motivated keep smiling guys